Well, it's been a slow start to winter in 2023, not just with the lack of snow, but also the lack of cold. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sarah Flynn takes a closer look at the warm start to the year and the impact that it's having on a multi-billion dollar industry. It has been one of the warmest starts to January on record in West Michigan. Across all five Great Lakes, ice coverage is only sitting at 4.5%. Typically, at this point in January, it should be closer to 25%. Ice has um, started later. Um, ice has not lasted as long, and uh, the coverage has been down quite a bit. Richard Rudd is a professor at the University of Michigan and works with the Great Lakes Integrated Sciences and Assessments. He says the lack of ice has become more frequent since the late 90s and this trend isn't showing any signs of stopping. You know, we could you know essentially have ice free seasons um, away from the shoreline. Ice free lakes may not seem like a big issue but it could lead to massive impacts on local ecosystems and even a bigger impact on a multi-billion dollar industry. We have several of the jigs in different colors. Ice fishing. Yeah, yeah. we get that all the time. Yep. They come in and say the first thing they say is yeah we need ice. Kopersky says Allen Bob Sporting Goods has been slower than normal the last few weeks. Fewer customers are coming in to buy ice fishing gear taking a toll on the business. It's the end of January here at Reeds Lake in East Grand Rapids. The water temperature, 34 degrees, preventing any ice from forming. But to get ice right now, enough to safe enough to fish, you'd have to go up to Lake Cadillac or Lake Mitchell. That's about as far south as you can get. There may be some hope for ice fishermen. Ice formation typically increases in the month of February. We have the, the shanties. And with an upcoming cool down, Kopersky is hopeful Alan Bobs will be busy once again. So you're seeing the snow out there right now. We will eventually see the cold, but it's going to take a few days just to get there. As Matt kind of alluded to earlier, we are trending cooler as we look to our long range outlook. This one goes from January 31st through the 4th and gives West Michigan a 70 to 80% chance of seeing those temperatures fall below normal, something we haven't seen so far in the month of January. Here's those projected high temperatures again early next week. We'll dive down to the teens on Tuesday as well as on Thursday. That's a huge pattern change that will hopefully give us some ice across Michigan. Sue.